So here at the LHC, we are asking the quintessential question of what is everything made out of? So this question was probably asked by maybe 10,000 years ago by two cavemen sitting next to a campfire. And for them, the easiest way to answer would be just to grab two rocks and smash them together, right? And then they'll probably, they would have probably found that little crystals, little pieces of gold or silver within the rock. And so they would just want to keep smashing things together harder and harder to see if you can break those little crystals or those little pieces of gold and silver and see what those are made out of. Little did they know that they were on the right track, because here at the LHC, we do the same thing, but taking it to its uh, energy limit. Instead of smashing rocks, we smash protons together at such high energies that when they come together, because of quantum mechanics, you are able to produce these new kinds of particles that are not around in everyday life. So you can imagine it's like taking two rocks and smashing them so, together so hard that you, from the energy of the collision, you make lava. In this case, this lava would be governed by quantum mechanics. And then you make these new different, different kinds of minerals that were not exactly what came in when you smashed the rocks. So in a similar way, at the LHC, we can do this with the protons and then we can look for crazy things like uh, extra dimensions, supersymmetry, dark matter, black holes, and the list of names goes on and on. And you can search in Wikipedia for those. <laughs> you can edit that.